everybody, how's it going? Uh, this is going to be my second shave video with the bottom dial, which is the Gillette adjustable bottom dial, like the Fat Boy, but different. Um, you can see it is, it's got a different head, obviously a different adjuster mechanism inside. It's a totally different razor. And for my first video, I used a vintage NOS um, Gillette Blue Blade. Tonight what I'm going to be using is another one of my favorite vintage blades, which is uh, this little blade here. And I don't know if you can see it, but that's King Gillette's head on there. That is a British stainless blade. And I'll be honest, I really don't know a whole lot about these stainless blades, other than the fact that they look a little bit like the Crowman blades, which were the first stainless blades that Gillette had made. Um, this comes from England, and um, it is not a Crowman. If you take it, I've already taken it out of this wrapper, but if you take it out of the wrapper, there's a little wax wrapper that has the Gillette logo, which is the diamond. Um, and then it has uh, this right here. And so clearly you can see it's um, it's got all the holes that are cut in it that would have received either the pro back or the new blade, uh, or the new razor, I should say, head, um, Goodwill, all that. Um, and there aren't date codes on these blades. Um, it does have patent numbers. It's a British blade, and so as far as the timeline goes for the British blades, um, uh, not sure, uh, to be perfectly honest, what time frame uh, we have these, but it's a wonderful, super, super sharp blade, and it's um, they're a little bit thicker than your standard modern blade. Uh, they feel a lot more like a um, like a blue blade, like a carbon blade. They're they're a lot thicker, um, so it gives you a really good shave. Um, I think super sharp, um, really thick. But I'm going to use it on setting number seven. Um, and what I'm going to do, since I went three passes uh, on my last video, I'm just going to do two. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do one pass with the grain on a seven, because this is a pretty pretty aggressive razor. Uh, the, last, uh, the last video I did a, a number nine setting, and uh, that was very aggressive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a, a seven with the grain, then a three across the grain. Um, I have whipped up a lather. Uh, what I have is I have a Hall mug, vintage, and then I have an Art of Shaving Fine Badger brush, which is probably my all-time favorite brush. Um, but I've whipped up this lather. I'm just using Arco soap, and uh, what I like to do is I take a tube, and I'm sure you all have seen Arco before, but if you haven't, I like to travel with one. It'll fit in a Colgate tin, but uh, you can actually See, uh, it's Arco. Uh, that's very familiar. Cheap Turkish shaving soap, um, but it's it's great. Works up a great lather. And what I do is I uh, I melt it and then I add fragrance to it. Take a whiff of that. Oh, sorry, this isn't smell o vision. Um, but what I do is I add something like Old Spice or something else that I like, something manly, and um, I add either aftershave or I add essential oils to it to give it a, a nicer flavor because if you haven't smelled Arco shaving soap, um, the best way that I can describe it is imagine gas station bathroom hand soap. Oh. It's definitely an acquired scent. So I like to add something to uh, either mask it or cover it up or complement it. Um, and uh, you can do something perfumey like a musk. Or you can do something uh, sort of spicy like a sandalwood or an old spice um, and it's well worth it. So here we go. Shade number two with the Gillette Bottom Dial Fat Boy. Hear that bark? This razor. Whew. Even on setting seven, it is a powerful, <laughs> powerful razor.
the the weight of it. The the head is totally different. I mean, it's pretty intense. Even on a number seven setting, not number nine, although I used it, but uh, even on a number seven setting, wow. Just hacking right through the stubble. I grew a thick, coarse beard. I could shave every day, but I don't because my skin is sensitive. So, I usually shave every other day. And uh, shaving every other day still gets enough stubble. I like more aggressive razors, red tips, old types. I like my fat boy adjusted to a number nine. But I'll tell you what, this uh, this bottom dial, it makes fast work of any stubble. It's incredible. Alright, pass number two. Dial this razor down to a number three for this pass, and this will be across the grain. And once again, I'm not going to loosen it, I'm just going to crank it down because it seems to work that way. But a number three setting, and we'll just commence. I'll tell you what, although there's a lot of chatter, a lot of feedback, um, this is a smooth shaver. It's a good combination, good blade, good razor. Good soap. I'll tell you what, um, I have a couple favorite soaps. Um, I like Smolder by Blades Grimm. Smolder is a great soap. It lathers well. And it smells incredible. Um, so I highly recommend Blades Grimm Smolder. Um, or another favorite that I have is Arco, obviously. But then another great soap that really doesn't get a lot of love or a lot of attention is the Vanderhagen Deluxe Shaving Mug Soap. Not the regular Vanderhagen that you get at Walmart but the deluxe shaving soap that you can only get from a barber supply. It's incredible. Speaking of incredible, I don't see a single weeper on this face of mine. So Adam Stump is a happy camper. I'll tell you what, that is terrific. Smooth shave, not BBS because I didn't go against the grain. Smooth shave, no no patches of hair. And I'm done. That was a super fast shave. It was under 10 minutes from start to stop. 
and I am very, very pleased. So, Gillette bottom dial, fat boy, hard to find, rare-ish, vintage Gillette stainless blade made in Britain, and some incredibly cheap Arco shaving soap. Um, combination, terrific. I would recommend it to anybody. So, hope you guys have a great day, and shave on.